What you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at creating our own retro pi on the raspberry pi 3. first off let's go to the retro pi website and download the image file now you can see they have raspberry pi 1 2 and 3 we're going to go for the free version and uh, it's tested and released on the 20th of march 2017 so you can see it's the latest version so download which version you need for your raspberry pi now Etcher is a program which is going to allow us to burn that image to a micro SD card and uh, you've seen the tool I use for the uh, micro SD card and uh, once we've got that downloaded uh, you can put them into a folder onto your desktop now I've already got these downloaded here and I'll show you the folder and as you can see this is Etcher and also RetroPie so you can see it's an image and uh, once we install uh, Etcher that's going to allow us to put this onto our USB adapter with our micro SD card slot onto it and uh, if you don't know what that is you can watch my previous video and it will show you how to do that on there so click on this to install and uh, we're just going to quickly install this won't take too long and uh, once we've got this done we're pretty much good to go so start up Etcher now and Etcher is a free program so what we need to do first is select our image so we're going to select the image of our uh, retro pie it automatically detected our storage device and uh, as you can see here you can change it if it's the wrong one be careful because it will wipe uh, that uh, storage device so if you've got data on there it's going to be wiped and all you need to do now is flash that uh, micro SD card slot there so what it's going to do is just quickly start that off and flash that image to it it takes longer than that or speeded that process up so they want to bore you to tears close this all off and then we can move on to booting up our Raspberry Pi. So put the uh, micro SD card into your Raspberry Pi and boot it up. Once you start booting it, booting it up, you will get to uh, the emulate, emulated uh, station. And then you get the welcome screen here. You need to get your uh, control panel, uh, which is your control pad, and navigate down and click on the icons you see on the screen to uh, map those buttons. Okay, click OK and uh, I'm using the uh, PlayStation 4 um, remote control pad so it works well with that go into your Wi-Fi settings now and set up your Wi-Fi connection unless you're using Ethernet so I'm just going to quickly set mine up on my Wi-Fi here and uh, the Wi-Fi is pretty close it has got Ethernet port on my one but I haven't got a cable long enough so I'm just going to use Wi-Fi for now and once that's connected you want to take note of it's connected you want to take note of the IP address because you will need that a little bit later on in the video so write that number down okay if you don't write it down you can always use the show IP address on the main menu so now we need to go down to RetroPie setup click on that and uh, let it load up it does take a bit longer and uh, once that loads in click OK here and you want to come down to where it says up, uh, update all install packages here click on this click OK and click yes you want to install all packages this will give you all the latest updates for your Raspberry Pi just let that run through it does take a fair bit of time it could take up to 30 minutes so be patient once you've done that what you want to do once you've done that what you want to do here now is come down to the reboot and reboot your system this will then uh, reboot your system and uh, boot back up to the Raspberry Pi once you've rebooted it should load up just like so and you should be back at the retro Pi desktop so we'll just let this load in and uh, once we get this back up to here what we're going to do is install some other software you can see the emulation station there there's nothing on here at the moment you see we just got retro Pi here we don't have no ROMs so what we want to do next we want to come down to retro Pi setup again and uh, we're going to go back into here it takes a bit of time to load so be patient and uh, once we get back into here click OK and this will uh, start the script and then we want to come down to where it says manage packages we want to go into there and then we want to come down 
to see where it says manage uh, experimental packages there you can come down here you can skip this step step if you want to load on your ROMs through another method but I like to do it via the uh, browser and this is why we're doing this method so come all the way down it's right down near the bottom just keep coming down and then once you get down near to the bottom you can see retro pie manager click OK and install from source obviously you will need an internet connection for this to happen so make sure you've got your internet on that will take a bit of time to install once we get that installed go back to the menu and configure options that's what we want to do next and now what we want to do is enable ROS, uh, retro pi manager on boot that means it will load automatically on boot up and now we want to start our retro pi manager and now it's started so now we can cancel and come out of this cancel again go back and we can uh, go back again and one more time and then we can exit out of this area here so once we exit out there we go we should get back to this retro pi uh, desktop now go over to your computer and type in the IP address colon 8000 and you will load up uh, the retro pi manager from your computer so now we can see the temperature the CPU here memory what's being used storage all that good stuff and you can control your Raspberry Pi from your computer and uh, you can drop your ROMs straight into these folders which is really awesome and so easy to do so get your ROMs and you can see they're all listed out there so I'm going to go into the Super Nintendo entertainment system I've got some ROMs here and I'm going to drop these into the Dropbox and they are zipped so don't worry about that it takes care of all that for you so all you need to do is drag and drop these into the drop files here to upload them and they will be uploaded uh, to the Pi so we're just going to do this like so and I'm just going to do a bunch of these but I'm not going to bore you with all of these but you can do as many as you like depending on how much space you've got um, but the the Raspberry Pi will deal with the unzipping and installing of that ROM so let that happen so now we're back on the Raspberry Pi and we're going to go into the settings here and then go quit and then restart emulation station and then really restart say yes and this will restart the emulation station and now you should see the ROMs that you've just loaded onto the Raspberry Pi and you can see Super Nintendo has now appeared so we can go into there and of course we're gonna have all our little ROMs we've just installed onto our Raspberry Pi it's that simple and you can play to your arts content all your best games which you used to play in your childhood I hope you enjoyed it guys it's really easy to do my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk have a great day and I shall see you again real soon bye for now <laughs>